Hello, the game is Hordes.io. Um, this video will be about, or supposed to be about, there'll probably be a lot of distraction with PvP and such. It seems to be very active. But this video is going to be about leveling. A leveling guide, so to speak. How to level efficiently. So when you pick a faction, you'll come out into your little newbie area and start grinding XP. Um, the very first thing I would suggest is going out and getting the mod. I don't know if they've... It's been a while because I've been playing uh, Temtem. Uh, so it's been a while since I played this. About a week. I don't know if they patched this in or if it's still a mod. But there is a mod. Uh, if you check out my uh, older videos, you'll see where I go over how to uh, how to get the mob and install it and stuff like that. Uh, or just go to the Horde... Uh, the Horde.io Discord and there should be a link in there. To the uh, to the install for it. So when you when you get started, you install the UI. So you have this mod, and it's important because you can you can see how much experience you're getting, and you'll you'll get a feel for how if you're leveling efficiently efficiently or not. Eventually, you'll you'll be looking at it, and you'll be like, oh, okay, I'm getting 30k. You move up to the next camp. Okay, I'm getting 60k per hour. You move up to the next camp. Oh wow, now I'm getting 80k. You leave that group, you move in with another group. Oh, I'm only getting 40k. Why am I getting half the experience I was? Let's move, guys. So that's kind of how it will help you gauge like how much experience you're getting. It'll let you see that as you move up, you will uh, you will fight. So that's the first thing. Get the XP meter mod. Uh, second thing is come out here when you're little and just start whacking mobs. You can see there's PvP going out here going on out here. I, I made remade this video five times because I got distracted with PvP, so I'm going to try to avoid this guy, even though I want to help kill him so bad I'm going to sneak around. But this is the um, newbie area. Come out here, whack on mobs, you'll level up fast. I highly suggest even in the newbie area to group. So hit this find party button and it'll auto match you into a group. Let me see if I can go ahead and do it. So it made me party leader and then it's going to start searching for other members. It'll either look for other members who are looking for group or merge you into a group. Um, so even if you have four people, it'll try to merge you into a group if if you hit that, if there's a bigger group out there. I'll save you! No! Sorry, I'm playing a healer class right now, so I have the ability to save lives. Um, anyway, it's not pop. It's usually pop for you know, a group real fast. Okay, so pop me a group with this dude. I guess there's no uh, no big groups going on right now. Anyway, that's how you find groups. Just hit find party and it'll stick you in appropriate level group. Uh, doesn't matter what map. There's three different maps that have different level ranges. This is the, lo this is the first map, the lobby map that goes up to 25. So, newbie area, fight solo, try to find a group. You might not find a group. Um, out here is where you're going to start finding groups more because right when people start hitting the this little camp here uh, level sixes level fives they'll start grouping a little more I like me personally I like standing right here between these two it's a little bit out of the way and you get this camp and this camp to kill um, but let me let me go into the, the the nitty gritty of the tip here the most important tip is your level compared to the mob so mobs give a set amount of experience. You need a set amount of experience, and that experience goes up by an insane amount. You're talking when you first start out, you need a couple hundred experience. To when you're level 45, you need you know 50 million experience. So there's a huge scale of experience um, happening. So what you what you want to do is to be the most efficient. Is you want to be two levels under the mob. So right now, if I was level 5, this would be perfect for a group. Solo, no, because you're not going to be able to do enough DPS to get them down fast enough. Um, the reason why 2 under is because at 3 levels higher than you, the damage is severely hindered. Like, you will not be doing much damage at all. So let's say, let's say if I was level 7, I could hit that Rotten Grub, who's level 7, for 100 damage. And I don't have the exact math on this. It's just kind of an example. If 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 I was level what's three under seven? If I was level four, um, I would I would maybe do five damage. 
something like that. Like, it's severely hindered. Now, if I'm level 5 fighting that level 7 mob, it'll it jumps up significantly. So instead of doing 100 damage, I might be able to do 80. Where it's just one level ago, I was only able to do like 5 or 10 damage. Like barely barely anything. It's it's so It makes it so inefficient to fight anything 3 levels higher than you. You just don't do it. Um, so the ideal spot though is because these mobs, level 7 mobs, are worth so much more experience than a level 6 or level 5 mob. If you can kill them, even if you're taking 20% reduced damage, kill them because it's going to be way more efficient to kill the higher level mob that you can do damage to than killing even just one level under and get an additional 20% DPS. And you got to remember, there's only a set amount of mobs. So these mobs spawn in small groups like this. So this is a group of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Little group of seven here. And you can pull like a little group of four here. Now they respawn pretty quickly, but that's it. That's your pool of experience. So you can't go out and get in infinite mobs. So you definitely want to keep it at the sweet spots too. Two levels above your DPS. <coughs> and it doesn't have to be you. You could be level two and be a healer and throwing heals out to a level five who's killing these, and that's fine. It's your DPS who must be within the appropriate level. I hope uh, I hope I explained that well enough, because uh, that's key. Um, being the appropriate level and then moving on. So, like, if you your group is here and your DPS was level five and everybody's leveling up, after, like, five or ten minutes, probably, if you're doing it right, maybe 15 minutes or whatever, you're going to get two levels, and it'll be time to move on. Now, you'll see most people will want to fight this stuff, just keep grinding. Like, there'll be seven. Ah, oh, it's fine. I'm seven. There's seven. I'll keep grinding. Oh, I'm eight. There's seven. I'll keep grinding. Oh, I'm level nine, and I'm fighting level seven mobs. That's fine. No, you really should move on when they're equal level to you. You don't want to... I mean... You can keep doing it if, like, there's no other camps or, like, there's, like, a different faction has the other camp and you don't want to fight them. You know, it's better to get some experience than no experience. But um, move on if you can. You always want to keep them two levels above you. If they get your, at your level or one level below you, it's definitely time to move on. Um, this second camp here is the next, is a good spot. Like, look how many mobs there are here. This is, like, when you hit this camp... And you start bundling these up and your AoE or blasting them down. And AoE is the key of this game. You don't single target? No. It's AoE when you're in PvP. Or PvE, I'm sorry. So what you want to do is like camp right here so that you can pull both camps. Because they do leash. You can only pull mobs so far. So what you, would, what you would do is run around and aggro them up. And don't worry about how long it takes to do that. It's well worth it. Just go ahead and aggro them all up. And they have a pretty decent aggro range. And you see how that group leashed, even though I already, you know, aggroed them, but they leashed. That's why it's difficult to do this. So you would want to, like, bring them over here a little bit. And then you have your group start killing them. You know, your archers using their AoE, your mages using their AoE, your warrior using their AoE swipe. Like, he's going to come over here and do it. That's a great example. Okay, swipe. Boom. So that warrior just swiped them. That's how they taunt. And they'll group them together and run around in circles and keep them clumped up. And that's a perfect little group there. Mages, shoot your orb in there. AoE, archers, do your little arrow bounce thing. Get them down. Uh, level 9 mobs, level 8 mobs, perfect. You should be uh, 7, 8, 9 in this camp killing these things. It would be great. Like, but see, he's even taking damage with level 9 mobs. Just a, a pro tip for warriors. Uh, if you wanted to play a warrior clip. Don't tank. Don't sit there and face tank them. Run around them. Just scoot the outskirts. See how he swipes and then he backs off? And he keeps them kind of chasing around? Just run them around in circles for your group to keep them from leashing back and swiping and taunting and keep them off your, a uh, your, your DPS and your healers. And then boom, you're the perfect tank and you're not taking as much damage. And he gets all the loot. Um... So let me show you the next camp that you'll be wanting to go to. I'm just going to kind of run through um, the camps real quick. So if, if all you wanted to know is the efficiency of, of this and how to group efficiently, that that's key. Try to be in a camp 
that has two to three groups that you can pull to. Uh, try and not not all places have that. Some only have one. Try to be two levels or have your DPS, not necessarily you, your DPS, two levels under your mobs. Um, no, no more than two. And you definitely don't want them to. Well, I mean, as, you don't you don't care if they're too high. If your DPS is too high, they're, they're going to get crappy experience. But um, you you uh, you want to be able to move up. That's that's the key. Like your your DPS is wasted potential. If you're level 13 DPS fighting a level nine mob, you're wasted potential. Although this isn't a real group. This is probably a mage. He's probably in there with them, kind of help power leveling them a little bit. But this is a good camp here. Uh, it's got a nice little chunk of mobs. These necromantic spawns. It's hidden out of the way, so you won't get a lot of uh, a lot of PKs back here trying to mess with you too much. It has a cool boss that spawns here. It has a really funny name uh, related to another game, and uh, so when you come back here, take a look and see that. Uh, bosses are a good topic, by the way. Uh, they're fun to kill, but they have much higher hit points than standard mobs, and they drop a lot more experience technically they're not worth it like they, they drop a lot more experience but um they take a lot longer to kill so it's really not worth it it's they're probably they're probably 90 percent inefficient versus a regular mob just regular fighting mobs all right so you want to come out here there's a small group of 11s here 11s 10 now going up this way going up here is 19s 20s so we'll come back to that later um so this is a good spot when you're uh, 8 and 9 and 10. And then move over here to the 12s. When you're level 10, you should move over here. Now this this is the other faction. This is their newbie area. So they come out this way. It's pretty much the same thing. I actually like the VG side better. It seems to have more mob uh, content. Um, or, or more mob groups. Anyway, so you want to come up here. When you're, what, these are 12 and 13, so you want to be around level 10, uh, or something like that. 12s here, 12s and 13s, and then more 12s up here. So as you can see, this whole corridor leading up to the mines is just packed full of mobs. They can fit multiple groups in here. And higher levels do farm this stuff for drops, so, you know, you got Triforce over here, he's level... 45 mage he's got a gold crown so he's you know he's maxed out on pvp he's obviously an experienced player he's farming these guys because they're easy to kill um for loot like all that stuff now he don't care about all this loot um he's just looking for like uh the the, the shards the lucids and i forget what they're called they're not crystals i think they're just shards but they they're used to upgrade gear Anyway, so level 13, this would be good, 12 to 13, 14. Another group here, so stand in between them and kill them. It looks like we got another guy farming. This, it's early in the morning, so it's a great time to farm because there's not a lot of groups. I'm not going to mess with him. Hopefully he doesn't mess with me, but... I should mess with him since he's half health. But anyway, so... This is the final uh, final spot for the mines. This is a great spot. A lot of mobs spawn here. But you got a level 24 dude solo in the 15s. He's doing it for XP. Uh, but this is a great spot for a group who is level 12 up to about 17. So this is going to be a spot where I suggest that you over you over level here. So you want to come here around 12, 13, 14, 15 leave at 17 and the reason why i say leave at 17 maybe even 18 is the next spot is what i showed you before it's a uh, level 19 so let's go over there so instead of running back down that way i'm just going to show you this little drop off usually what happens is when you're fighting here pvpers will come up here and try to overwhelm your group or kill your group and a lot of times battles happen out here just move back away from the mobs a little bit so they're not attacking you as much and fight here or if they look like they're just going to overpower you and you want to escape, run over this way and just jump off. And it'll land you back down into the newbie area as a one-way exit. So that's the uh, other faction's newbie area is basically what we just came into. 
All right, so let's go back to this uh, point here at the at the mine entrance, where it kind of leads you to. Um, now, if you start going in the middle here north, this is where the level 20s and 19s are. So you're going to need to be about 17 before you come here. They have 19s down on this end. Usually groups just fight here, right here in the middle. Um, and they call them trents or trees. Um, and you pull both groups to here and fight. And you'll do this until... Uh, a lot of people stay here a little later than 20. So a lot of people would be like 21, 22. But what you should be doing is moving up this corridor. And I, these guys are all arrows and mages and stuff. So they're going to be tearing me up. Um, but you want to move up here because these are 21. You know, and you got another group of 21. So you could sit right in the middle if you wanted to and fight them. Let me get some heals on me. This other group's going to tear me up too. All right. Um, so yeah, these are 22, 23, so you, you can level all the way up to 25 right here if you wanted to, but most, what most will do is they'll jump from the tree to the middle, uh, these ancient aggers. These are the highest level guys on this map. I'm actually surprised that there's not a group out here fighting. This is, this is pretty contested areas, so once you get down to the tree, the tree area in this area is where the two factions start merging. So you'll get a lot of PvP battles happening over these two areas because they're basically resources that you're fighting over. You got no place else to level. So, you know, the map split. You, all, you both have your n new area and then once you start hitting those mines, you start running into PvP. And then once you start coming up here into the split, um, you start running into more PvP because it's a single resource. Um, then once you are 25, 26, 27, once you're 25, you can move to the next map. If you can find a group on the next map, I would suggest doing it. Um, most likely it won't be map transitions. I've found to be pretty difficult because, you know, you hit 25, you can go to the next map, but there might not be a group there your level, or maybe that group doesn't want a low person because you can't do any DPS. Uh, whatever the reason, I find that transition to always be difficult. So if you get a group and they let you hang out, even if they're higher level, it's that's fine. Take it. You know, if they want to power level you up, um, jump on it. So here's the little things they farm for, like these lucids. They're little uh, crystals that uh, help you upgrade your gear. So let's go over to the next map. Let me take a shortcut real quick here. So they put in this new like little teleport system that allows you to teleport back to town. Right to the conjurer. So the conjurer is the person that lets you go to a different map. So you got Headless at 25, and then was that Fable at level 35. So this goes 25 to 35. This is 35 to 45. So let me show you a couple camps in Headless, and then I'll show you a couple camps in Fable. Now remember, I leveled up mostly, I have both factions, but I leveled up mostly on the Vanguard side, so uh, the camps I'm going to show you, probably mostly Vanguard. Um, so, this is the camp, this is what it looks like. The other factions camp, where are we at? We're here. I believe the other factions camp is here. In, in this one, you can run right over to their side if you want, but most people... They're not out here warring. What you'll find out here is most people just want to level. They'll fight over camps. And then you'll also find, like, twinks and higher level guys coming roaming around here like little war parties. Uh, but not so much since they re they reduce the level range. You have to be within five levels of the person that you want to kill. So not s since they did that, not so much uh, war parties roaming around here fighting. Um... You know, you have to be, because you have to be level appropriate. So, you know, uh, it kind of hindered the trolling a little bit, which was a good thing. Um, so, we're here. I'm going to run down to around here, show you some camps. There's a good camp here. This is called the Deltas. Uh, there's a hill camp, I believe, here that's very popular. But basically, you can make a camp anywhere. I mean, you know, I'll show you the popular spots where people level, but... You could fight here if you were 24. I wouldn't recommend it because they got errors. You want to you wanna try to fight things that are um, melee, not casters or shooting errors, just because they'll wreak havoc on your DPS. 
they'll wreak havoc on your tank because your tank's going to be trying to kite him to take less damage instead of face tanking him if he's a good tank. Um, and he can't kite something that's shooting arrows at him, right? So my first camp that I like to recommend is this one right here. These little river monsters. They got a nice grouping of them right there. They're level 28. So once you're 26, you can come start killing these. Um, most people, I, I don't think, I think maybe once we did these, most people don't do them. Uh, I don't know why. I guess because they're just out of the way and people don't realize they're there. But I think most people probably start right around here with these. Uh, river monsters because it, it, this is a really good spot too. You got a nice grouping of them here and then you also have these as like a backup and you can pull both of them. So if you kind of stood over here in the middle, you can pull both of them. But what you'll find is the first camp you'll probably find in a group will be over here at this hill. For whatever reason, people love this hill. I've seen people fight this group here, um, which is pretty inefficient because there's nothing else that you can pull to them. Yep, look, there's people over here. And it's the opposite faction. Oh, he's soloing. I won't mess with him. Uh, I'm just letting him know I'm not gonna mess with him. But people like to, uh, people like to fight on top of this hill, and they can gra gather up these mobs and gather up these mobs, and kill them. And for whatever reason, I just love sitting here. So you'll find when you come here, this will probably be your first group that is, uh, that is here. I like this alternative area over here that not a lot of people use. <clears throat> and you can track my position on the map here with a little white dot if you want to see where I'm at. So purple dots mean enemy faction, red dots mean mobs, and blue dots mean your group. White dot is me. So I like right here because you've got four small groups that amount to a lot of mobs. And you can just kind of pull them up and pull them in here and fight in the middle. And then up here you have a little spot where you can kind of go AFK if you need to and you don't got to worry about the um, mobs coming up and getting you. Um, the other camp that you'll find a lot in here is over this way, the Deltas. There's a boss right there. Like I said, bosses are very inefficient um, to fight them. It's better off to just ignore them. Like usually on that hill group, they won't... They won't pull that boss. Only inexperienced or people that don't know better will pull bosses. They don't drop any loot, um, anything special. They'll just drop normal loot that a normal mob will drop, as far as I can tell. Um, they take a long time to kill. They give more experience, but the kill to experience ratio is much worse than if you were just killing normal mobs. So kill them if you got aggro. If not, don't worry about it. Stink soul. Interesting. <clears throat> so this is a good spot here. This is the deltas. Looks like looks like we have somebody here. Again, a mage soloing, trying to AOE. It's, that's not efficient. Like this is cool, right? You want to be a mage. You want to solo. You want to run around in circles and and shoot your uh, ice orb at them over and over and over and over again. Mages are great solos. Don't get me wrong. But doing this, he's probably getting one one half if he's really good efficient with great gear to one quarter of the experience he would get if he just had a group here grinding and in a group you're much more relaxed you're sociable and you're going to get two to four times the experience as to what one of the best soloing classes uh can get so uh just keep that in mind it's always better to group up um just keep the people in your group here's a big tip the group leader his responsibility is to keep the people in the group of appropriate level. So these are 31 mobs. So you don't want anybody here under 27. I would, you could say 28. Well, actually 29 would be able to do damage. So I would say, yeah, if they're 27, kick them. Because then you got to power level them two levels. If they're 28, don't worry about it. They'll get that level so quick. They'll probably be 29 quick enough and they'll be doing experience. So don't worry about it. Um, just power level them up. Um, me personally, I'm if I have a good group going and I have some at least three or four decent DPSers, DPS and everything, I got a tank, I got a couple healers, I don't mind the, the extra people coming in if they're a little underleveled. I, I, I'll, I don't mind helping them. They'll, they'll get levels so fast when they're so low fighting such high mobs. 
that they'll level up fast, they'll get power leveled, and then they'll be able to do damage. And then you keep the group rolling. But if they're super low, um, bump them. Uh, the other thing, another tip for group leaders, DPS meters. You know, I, I'm a big, uh, I hate DPS meters, but in this game, um, it's almost necessary. Um, you want to be able to watch what your DPS is doing. You want to, um, let me see if I can get close to him so you can see. You want to see what their DPS is doing. Only, not 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 to make sure that they're optimal, um, but just to make sure they're just doing stuff. Because people will just AFK. And they won't fight or do anything. Let me see if I can get some of his DPS. Here, let me just get my DPS on it. So, look, my little dot does 40 DPS, 59, 80, 75. But shamans can dot multiple targets. So, shamans, you know, they're not great DPSers, but they can get a little bit up there. They can do, like, minimal. Look at that. Yeah. 100 DPS. Anyway, you want to keep your eye on a DPS meters. The other thing you want to keep your eye on, and I can't show you because I'm not in a group, is look at the group. You can see the mana bar, and you, so you can see if they're using their mana, and you can see what spells they're casting as they're casting it. And that's key. You want to you want to set that. That's a setting in the settings here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, interface. Show self and party. Show party mana. So you want that checked. If Without it, you will not be able to see the spells that your party members are casting. You will not be able to see um, their mana bar to see if they're even using their mana. Just keep an eye on it. You don't got to be a Nazi. You just don't want people will in this game just go AFK. And it's hard to tell when you got 10, because there's 10 people in a group. So it's hard to tell when you're a group if they're AFK or not. So anyway, this is the Delta camp. This is a really good camp. Um... Some people come over here and do the sharks. You'll see them. Let's get to the sharks. Let's get to the sharks. I do not like the sharks. They're, they're half the experience. My, um, in my experience, they're half the experience of doing the deltas. So uh, if the deltas are taking, the, sh the sharks are an option. I'd probably rather just stay at the hill. Um, but if the deltas are taken, then the sharks are an option. I don't like them because there's a boss that spawns there, and it's a caster. It's a mage, and it does a lot of damage to the deep end. Just the group starts getting chaotic. The healers start getting stressed, and they'll want to leave. But this, see that guy right there? He's shooting ice bolt and stuff like that at me. He'll just he'll tear you up when you're not looking. He'll do that AOE on your whole group. But yeah, these are level 33, so they're higher level. So it's the right mindset. Let's go do the deltas. But if you look, there's not that many of them. Whereas the delta. There's three easy accessible groups, and I've seen people pull five clumps of mobs there. Like, if you have somebody pulling for you, I don't know why they just seem to leash better there. But any place can be a camp. 28s, you want to camp here, camp there. I've seen people come over on this side and camp uh, when the deltas are taken and the hills taken. You know, it's crappy because, look, there's low density here, and it's only one group. So that's, you always want to keep that in mind. What's the density of the mobs? How many groups are there? You know, you, you want to try to keep that high. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to base and show you the other area. Um, the whole map is full of camps. So I just showed you a couple popular ones, but you can camp anywhere. Just use your own best judgment using the method of mob density and appropriate level. Let's go on to Fable. And again, anywhere can be a camp in here, but I'm going to show you a couple. I'll show you two. I'll show you the popular spot, the level for VG, and a spot or two for the uh, Bloodlust, the BLs, if I can. They might be over there. Excuse me. They might be over there leveling. I won't be able to. Ugh, soloing. So inefficient, guys. Well, they got a small team, so that's probably better. So this is the camp here. Our camp is here. Their camp is here. So it's across from each other this time. Um, how the map is laid out is this middle area has the best mobs. But it's highly contested. Now we're in the... This is the 45 level zone. 35 to 45 level zone. So this is where the PvP happens endgame in this map. There are war parties that will roll 
20, 30, 40, 50 players deep and just roll through here and just like like a plague killing your XP group. Uh, the only way to counter that is form a war party of on your faction and join them. Uh, so a lot of times you'll be like, oh, well, I guess I need to leave XP and support the war party. Anyway, this is the group. This is like the group for Vanguard. Even if you're under level here, a lot of times they'll go ahead and invite you. Because at this level, they realize, like, there's 45s here grinding just for loot. And just to help, they'll, they'll come here and just help uh, people level in this group. Um, but this little camp here is 43s, which is nice to have 43s so close to our, to our base. It's very uh, convenient. But what I found is even when I come here at, um, when you come here at 35, they'll invite you into this group and they'll just let you uh, leech because you're not doing anything at 35 to a 43. You're not doing anything until you're level 41 at this camp. So technically, you should be booting anybody that's under 40. That's a DPS from this camp. Um, but you see here, what's that, 37? 37 warrior. He's sitting here and they, they invited him, so he's going to get power leveled. But it'll, you'll get power leveled so fast, it'll literally take you about 10, 15 minutes per level um, at level 37 if you come here and they let you in the group early. But this is pretty much the, like every time I look for a group, it's here uh, at this map. This is where we go. It's so close to our, um, to our base and it's high level mobs, which level 43 mobs are only found in the center. Um, as far as I know, so to have this little group here is just beautiful. This is usually where, where we hang out and group until 45. Um, just to give you an idea of the, um, time frame, to get from 44 to 45 took me about three hours of grouping, three and a half hours of grouping. I've heard some people say five, but it took me about three, three and a half hours of sitting here to go from 45, 44 to 45. All right, let me show you a uh, spot where the... And this is also a death trap, by the way, so you'll get a lot of BL will come up this way, and they'll sneak in here and <laughs> they'll kill you. And it's hard to get out because we're in this, like, it's a little death trap. you got to go up these trails and follow the trails all the way up and around, and it's it's very, very difficult to get out uh, once they come in for you. So it's kind of funny. It's almost uh, designed like that. It's pretty cool. So let me let me go show you where do I want to go? Let's go to mid first. I want to show you what mid looks like if there's nobody there. It's still like nine o'clock in the morning, so um we might be able to get in there without getting PK'd. Uh and these guys that hang out in here like they're like total PK pimps. They'll just wreck you. So like even though this is a group of forty ones here, I wouldn't recommend fighting over here because you're so close to mid. You're going to constantly be in PvP. I'm going to get out of here because he will come after me and I don't want to fight right now. He'll probably wreck me anyway. I got my PV, PV ear, PVE gear on, which is basically item find gear. Whoa, how did our sentinel come all the way down there? What are you doing there, bud? Somebody's exploiting that sentinel or something. Anyway, let me get out of mid. And again, I told you this is going to be a long video. Uh, so if you're still watching this, good on you. Yeah, I have seen this camp here. I have seen VG come here. This is like, so our camp is here. You just come right through the middle. This is like the entryway to mid. So this is how we get directly to mid. But I have seen our guys camp here. So it's a good thing they're here to remind me. They got little 43s. But it's almost like why they want me to join. Oh, it's nice, you guys. Uh, party. There's a group. What can I do, group? Party. Hi, thanks. Ah, caps. Hi, thanks. Can't not join. At the moment, making a YouTube vid. So anyway, um, yeah, this is a this is a decent uh, decent area um, to fight. But you're so close to mid, though, you're gonna get PK'd a lot. So if you're gonna do it, 
why not just go into mid and do it? Like, if you can kill 44s, go into mid and kill these 44s and get really great experience. Um, right now would be a great time. And it's even worth it coming in here. If there's nobody here, come in here. If you're 42, 41, 42, 43, come in here and fight. Um, even if you're getting PVP'd and wiped once in a while, it's it's the experience is going to be so much better. It's okay to get wiped every once in a while. Um, but you got to deal with like a lot of guys in here. It was super geared out, so you do have to deal with that. Um, anyway, on to where BL um, groups a lot of times. And again, any place is a good group, right? Like this could be an area, a great starter area right here. 36s and 37s, and you could stand right in the middle. I've never seen anybody group here before, but this would be beautiful. Look at this. You got little uh, wood worms, and you got little spiders over here, and little warriors. This would be perfect coming in here at 35. You could pull both groups and kill them. That's a great spot. So any spot can be a group. I'm just like I say, I'm showing you kind of little popular areas. Um, where are the lemons at? The lemons are pretty popular over on the BL side for leveling up. Doo -doo -doo. A little 39 group. Not bad. If you wanted to progress, you could hit those 37s and 39s. Kind of just scooch over a little bit. And that's probably the BL over there fighting the lemons. Let's see if they're probably going to kill me. Whatever. Got to do a video, man. Got to do a video. That's uh, just one guy. That's uh, my faction. So these uh, buried terrors that he's fighting, this BL kind of hang out here a lot. It's funny to see a uh, VG there. But you'll find is they'll group right here. They'll fight here. They'll pull these mobs over to them, and then they'll pull these uh, confused lemons, which I think is the cutest name uh, over here to fight. Uh, I love these lemons because when you pull them, they're like shing. <laughs> Sorry, I just like that. Um, and that, that's about it. I mean, I could go south and show you some of their southern camps on the beach. So they have, like, camps down here. That's a popular camp. It's a little bit of a run. I don't know if it adds much to the video. I feel like this video is, you know, doing this video without cuts and just one long, continuous video... Not a lot of people like that type of format. I like it, though. I think a lot of randomness happens. Um, and you get to experience the game fully versus, like, if I just, like, cut out clips and did a voiceover. I, I, you don't see, you don't run into groups, you know. You don't run into all those planned things. And What is that? Is that a boss? It looks cool. I'm trying to avoid these guys. Oh, he's on me. Look at him. He's chasing me. Dun, 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 dun. I must be out of his range because he hasn't hit me yet. He's on me. He wants it. No! He's going to get me. He's on me. Though. Look at him chasing me. The one guy didn't, didn't bother with me. I want to try to make it to the beach at least. They're like, you shall not pass. Yeah, this is deep in the enemy faction territory. <laughs> All right, so this beach is a popular camp. <laughs> he's, he's chasing me. He's going to try to get me. This beach is a popular camp. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> they they fight right down here. Oh, I'm dead. They fight right. <laughs> they fight down here. It's as you can see. It's 38 and 39. So. They'll come here a little bit higher to 35 and and fight here and then move out. Um, their, their, their home is right here. So this whole area is just like death zone if you come in here when you're PvP level. Mid's a death zone, but coming down here is just ridiculous. You don't come down here without a party to PK them. Anyway, so that was the, uh, that was the game. There are the areas. That's how you do it. Um, I hope... Uh, I wasn't rambling too much, and you kind of got the gist of it. Mob density, multiple groups of mobs, 
DPS. Make sure your DPS is within two levels of the mobs. Don't don't over level the mobs too much, um, and you'll you'll your XP will fly. Very important to have a good party leader. Be the party leader if you can, since you know how to do this now. Be the party leader. You kick people that auto join that aren't the appropriate level. Um, once you get a group going and experience is rocking, it's okay to bring some, you know, one, two, three inefficient people in or under level people in to power level them up. That's fine. Yeah, you know, if your group starts complaining, bump them out, you know, keep everybody happy. But usually people don't mind because they want their faction to level up so they can fight in PvP with them. Um, anyway, it's a great game. I love the fact that this is, uh, grouping content and grouping is more valuable than solo because people will solo if it's even keel why why bother with the hassle of socializing uh in my in in, in my opinion and experience so the fact that grouping is multiple times better than solo i mean for some classes it's 10 times better um which almost puts it to the only way to do it uh range but a lot of people just don't realize it. They get into a bad group that are killing stuff five levels under them, and they think the XP sucks, and why am I grouping when I can almost get this solo? Well, that's because you're doing it wrong. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it. I probably won't be doing a Hordes video for a while. I've been doing some Temtem. I just wanted to get this video out. I already had it created, but uh, I let it sit for a couple weeks before I published it, and I felt, well, let me let me update that. So I did this one fresh today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.